that is a nice monitor and my gaming skills are getting better. I mean, maybe not, but hey guys, Thundi E here, and this is the brand new Dell QD OLED gaming monitor. And it's a 34 inch monitor, and honestly, I am impressed. Now, before we go ahead, let's go ahead and just set this aside so I can see you guys properly, and then we can get to talking. So, this bad boy here is the new QD OLED gaming monitor, 34 inches from Dell. Uh, this is a Dell Alienware monitor, and this thing is impressive. Now, you've seen a lot of videos out there talking about QD OLED. QD OLED is the new display technology uh, that is gonna be taking things by storm this year. Developed by Samsung, at least this version that we have here within this, uh, this monitor, is something new and different. Now you're wondering, why should I care about QD OLED and what does it mean for me as a gamer? Well. It means a lot of things. It means you're gonna be getting true blacks for your gaming experience, you're gonna be getting a lot of color volume, and you're just gonna be getting an overall great experience altogether. Now, what does that actually mean? What is a QD OLED display? Well, the QD OLED display from Samsung that is in this monitor is a tr triple layer display. You've got the oxidized back panel, you've got your uh, blue light emitting layer in the middle, and you've got your quantum dot layer on top. So that is how it's actually developed. And that allows you to do a lot of things. One of the best things about it, of course, is color volume, meaning that you be able to get richer colors across the board, especially at off viewing angles. So whether you're watching content on this bad boy or you are playing games, you will be able to see that showcase really well. The other thing also is getting those true blacks, right? Uh, because that's something we always, we really like from OLEDs, right? The QD OLED does two things. You can get those true blacks, but you can also get it to be really bright in the spectrum because you have a peak brightness here of up to a thousand nits. Now, anyone who says it doesn't do that, it definitely does. Uh, honestly, go check out my buddy at Digital Trends there, Caleb, and he will actually, he gives a nice breakdown about that. But it covers the gambit for what you're looking for as a monitor. Now, before we get into the gaming, because we did a lot of gaming on this monitor, I checked out a bunch of games. What about the monitor itself? What does it actually provide as a gaming monitor? So we've got this awesome design here from uh, from Alienware. Uh, again, the Alienware styling all together. It says 34 at the back. You have the Alienware logo go on the other side as well. And then we also have, have the lettering Alienware on the side right there. Now, this is a G-Sync monitor. So this is G-Sync uh, G compatible. And you've got a couple of plethora of ports. I say couple, actually plethora. Now you've got two HDMI 2.0 ports. Now you're wondering why not HDMI 2.1 because I actually thought the same thing. Well, think about it this way. The only benefit you're gonna get mostly from HDMI 2.1 is for your gaming consoles and they don't support the resolution of this monitor, which is a 1440 uh, monitor. Now, the other thing also is you do have a DisplayPort 1.4, you do have a headphone jack underneath here and two USB ports, uh, which is USB 3.2 as well, two USB 3.2 ports at the back. You also have lighting at the back of the device and also at the bottom. So we've got all the connectors that we want and we care about. Now, what about using this to game? Now we've got an 1800R curved radius on this 34 inch monitor, which means you're fully immersed into the game. You're sitting right there, you can clearly see it in front of you. And this is where the monitor shines. It's an OLED monitor, QD OLED monitor, by the way, which means you're gonna be getting the true blacks and you're gonna be getting the brightness as you're looking for. And that color volume stays. Whatever game you play, you play some Call of Duty, you know, Warzone. Warzone look bright, it look crisp, but also dark corners look really dark and the game just looked really good. It really ran well on this too. Um, also went ahead and played some, um, Cyberpunk uh, 2077, which of course, yeah, I know a lot of you guys are going like, ah, that game, but still, this was a great one to showcase HDR on and also showcase 
just how this monitor handles the wide color range and also the different avenues where there's some darker areas within the game, uh, a lot of dark areas in the game, especially at night, and also those bright neon colors covering all the color spectrums pretty clear. And whether you're playing on an angle or not, you're gonna get that pretty well from this monitor. So that's something to take note. Playing some Halo again, Halo Infinite, that looked really good. Now, speaking of those games, you do have a nice OSD system allowing you to do a lot of uh, functionality and switches in the game. You tap the center button right there underneath and you're able to access the console where you can swipe through uh, some quick menus or you can move, move up and access uh, across the full menu where you've got some presets. So you've got preset standard, you've got FPS, you've got RTS, you've got Moab, you've also got uh, custom Gamer 1, Gamer 2, uh, and giving you the full breadth of presets where you can pick to select the games you're actually playing. Now those presets take advantage, of course, of the, uh, the high um, uh, peakness of this monitor, as also the fact that this is HDR monitor, so you can actually cycle between HDR 400 and HDR they are 1000 so you've got that option there which is actually pretty good in terms of performance but i just gotta say though like it's very hard to put it into very specific words other than the fact that this monitor really drives well now in terms of monitor specific specs this is 100 uh 75 hertz monitor so if you're using display port you will get 175 hertz if you're using uh, hdmi it's 100 hertz it's got a response time of 0.1 milliseconds so it is highly responsive playing those games playing call of duty uh, warzone which i love to play response time of this is absolutely beautiful but the overall nature is when you have this monitor in front of you and you are gaming you're going to feel like you have just the visual experience and also the response experience that you need as a gamer. I am absolutely impressed with this monitor. I have to say that I'm absolutely impressed because it just does a good job. Now this video is not sponsored by anyone at all. Just the fact that when I use this to play in game, I got a really nice feel for this monitor and enjoyed the whole experience. Now you guys also probably noticed that I was sitting on the Razer Isker chair. Now this again is not sponsored, I just wanted to showcase this chair because I enjoyed using this especially while gaming on this monitor. Now the Isker chair retails for like $399. I do have the fabric version with lumbar support uh, and what I like about it is that lumbar support is one of the biggest things, especially for long gaming sessions you do have that support making sure that you're sitting upright you're not slouching and you can play for long periods of time it comes with a headrest i do love the adjustable um uh, hand guards and also handrails where you can adjust it's the height as well as also the positioning on the sides raising the chair all that fun stuff great chair and honestly one that i would recommend so definitely use the link down below if you guys want to check it out but back to this monitor and all that it brings to the table so i've talked about how great this monitor is while gaming a couple other things is the fact that you can raise the monitor up and down quite easily as you see and you can also tilt it left or right now this monitor also comes with a three year warranty back, especially for burnings, because I know you guys are about to talk about that next. Yes, um, they're concerned about it to a certain degree, but they also are backing up. If they thought it was really bad or anything terrible, you wouldn't get a three year warranty on this. Plus, they do have uh, software built into it that actually cycles it uh, to prevent any burnings on the monitor. I haven't used it for a long period of time, but honestly, unless you're looking at a static image for at least 150 hours on end and it's staying in the same spot, you're probably gonna get that, but nobody ever does that. You're gonna be changing the images no matter what. So this is great for that. You also have these vents around, which allow the system to cool uh, as you're driving this monitor, but I mean, there's nothing else I can say about this monitor other than the fact that this is one of my favorite monitors to use this year, especially because the colors look rich and when you're watching content, it's absolutely amazing. It feels like you know, you're watching, you have an OLED in front of you, uh, but drives better than a regular OLED. That is what this is here. In terms of negatives, honestly, uh, I would say the naming structure is a negative, uh, calling the AW3423DW. Uh, Dell, just give it a solid name. Like, you know, Dell Alienware QD OLED 1. 
I don't care. Uh, that is, in terms of price, it's priced at $1,300, and honestly, for something like this, I definitely like it, and I think they've done a good job. I just wish there was HDMI 2.1 support, just in general, just as a standard, I know. In terms of usage, it may not fully use, but as a standard, I would like to see that there. And uh, yeah, Dell, give me a 38 inch or 43 inch of this bad boy because I absolutely love it. So if you guys have any questions, any comments about the Dell um, QD OLED gaming monitor, let me know. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, use the link down below. And yes, I will be checking out more QD OLED devices this year. Sony has a QD OLED TV, which I hopefully will be getting soon to do a full review and also some really fun stuff with. Samsung also has their own QD OLED TV as well, which I'm expecting. So it's gonna be a fun year with this new display and this bad boy started everything. So check it out and uh, always enjoy.